You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. Oh, I love that mini music, it's so good. So, this is gonna probably gonna be the another silly episode. Um, apparently we're spending the we're staying after dark in the park, and the park is apparently haunted at night. And Filio is super afraid of ghosts, so we're gonna see how this goes. I am like 100% expecting like Leo to show up with like a sheet over his head or something. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you sit back and enjoy. Let's jump right into it. Have a great Sunday, and let me entertain you. All right, Alarm Chin, you're up. <clears throat> All right, let's go. All right, time flies so fast. Mm-hmm. It sure does. Is this that song? This is that song. Okay. You know, back in our place in Germany, we used to wear yarn, yarn knit gloves and beanies to keep us warm. Leo made them, of course. He knows how to knit? Yeah, it's his secret hobby. Well, was a secret. He doesn't really do it often since Fern told him it's very gay. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Anyway, he knows these scarves and beanies and such. And because of that, we were grown, we, we were grown, we were grown to walk around in the cold. We even traveled far distances during snowstorms. It often snowed hard in Hamburg. On foot? Yeah, it's because we needed to hunt and sell meat for money. We earned a lot, but we never used any kind of transportation. We also had to pay bills and needs back home, back at home. There were jobs, of course, but the hunting had bigger pay. One time we saved a lot of cash to use it to travel here, but someone took it. Who? Dino. He used it to travel to Italy. Why? Why would he do that? Isn't he your brother? Yeah, he is. But I really don't know why, too. Sorry. It's fine. Thankfully, Fern sent us money to travel here, so we took a plane and traveled. That's great. Fern sounds like a quirky guy to me, though. <laughs> you think so, huh? Huh. A little too quirky. He gently patted my side. Look! A ghost! Woo! I glanced up and saw the sky clear of clouds. I smiled. With all the city lights from other states gone, the stars are a lot more visible now. Pretty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. My eyes start to pull down. The warmth of the wolf's body made sitting on a bench so cozy. I felt like sleeping. Oh, <sighs> hurt me, guys. Hmm. Thump. I slept a little later because of the whole freaking going forward an hour thing. Uh-oh. Mysterious figure. Uh-oh. <gasps> it's a really fucking well-built ghost. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck kind of line is this? How sweet. You're giving me diabetes. <laughs> All right, Wilford Brimley. I turned to the wolf. He seems to be startled, too. We gave each other confused gazes, then at the hooded man who was sitting right beside us. His face is a complete void, nothing but a dark shadow casting inside the hole of his hood, and a snout sticking out. <laughs> Hello, friends. It's just one weird scenario after another with this game. <laughs> uh, hello. I inched myself closer to the wolf as the stranger was right next to me. Cold night, isn't it? His voice is sharp, young. I'm sorry, did I interrupt you with anything? N no. N no, not really. Ah, glad to hear then. Thought I did something bad. That wasn't the only time that happened. Oh, please. Don't mind me. I'll just sit here. I quickly take my phone out and open the notepad app. Who is this guy? Wolf takes the phone and typed. I don't know. Is he a ghost? I cleared the text. I'm starting to think so. His hood is so dark and empty. Look at his feet, then. I looked down and saw nothing but the draping cloak. Huh. The hooded man pulls out a smartphone and started to type furiously. I can make out the notification sounds of tweets, tweets her. Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus. This marketing thing is really taking a toll on my free time. Speaking of which, would you would you two friends like some... He reaches for his pockets, trying to find something. Hang on a sec. Ah! Here we go. He holds out a sachet of white powder. 
Motherfucker, are you offering me cocaine in a park bench at night? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> are those drugs? Well, yes, but... Guards! Guards! Police! He's got drugs! He was shouting at the top of our <laughs> Wait, no! Ah! A few security guards at the park chase after the hooded man. After a few minutes of a wild goose chase, he tripped and they were able to seize him. Glancing down to see the white packet the guy had dropped, I pick it up. What's that? The wolf takes it from my hands and tears it open. He takes a whiff of it, then a little... You're gonna get high if you do that. Filio, no! Uh, sorry. Mm. Filio, no! Wait a second. Let go of me! Ah! They take him away. You two boys all right? I, I think. There are a number of reports of people selling illegal stuff around here. I'm glad you called. Who, Phil? Philio? Hey, I'm back. Oh, hold up. Oh, what's going on? Hey, I'm back. It really took me a while there. I had to... The wolf pounced at Leo, then grabbed his crotch with a glowing horse haze in his eye. <laughs> Oh, that's that stuff. I uh, forget what the name of it is. Ah! Leo strikes him by the neck, making the wolf fall on him with a thump. Ah! Get him off me! Me and the police, me and the police officer rushed to the line, heavily panting as we carefully rolled the wolf into the grass. Ah, shit! Is he okay? He'll be fine. He's just out cold. What happened? The officer took the small sachet off the ground and examined it. Ah, this is placa, but it's the concentrated kind. The drug that makes you berserk? No, it's the type that makes you go head over heels for someone. This is supposed to be in a pill. Oh. Man, he should have pounced on me instead. You okay, Leo? He patted his pants. I'm fine, kid. Thanks. What the hell happened to him? What made him like that? There was this hooded guy that dropped a pack of those powder and then he licked it. Ugh, I should have guessed. The officer examined the wolf. Wow, he's a really big man. He likes to drink protein. Yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Well, ready to carry him again? I don't think we can. He's too heavy and we can't just drag him on the ground. Ah, oh, you're right. Hmm. Let me help you two. The officer grinned. Is that okay with you? We don't want to bother. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It's... I'm not buff just for the looks, you know. He winked. All right, I lift his upper body, you two on the lower part. On it! Okay. <laughs> oh, this is such a silly game. I'm so enjoying this game. I'm a bit worried I won't be able to take much of it seriously, though, because of how, how often it kind of veers from comedy to seriousness and such. Often with very little warning. <laughs> Uh, what? What? What happened? He sat up, rubbing his head. Where are we going? Why well, am I in the back seat? He panted and glanced at me with glowing eyes. We're going home. You um passed out when you licked the powder earlier. Really? Huh? But I remember squeezing Leo's dick though. <laughs> I almost forgot how big Lo is. When I grabbed it, he's about this big. He forms a big ring with both hands. Ahem. <laughs> really? How'd you know that? I've seen him naked hundreds of times already. Like when I walk in on him in his room where he forgets his bathroom towels. Also when he asks me to scrub his back whenever he showers. <laughs> Hopeless old man. I am not old. Pss. I can't do that right. Pss. Pss. There you go. Ah! He rubbed his neck. Why does my neck hurt so much? It's just a br- I mean, stiff neck. Yes. Just stretch it out. Hmm, really hurts. Shouldn't have licked that powder. Stupid cloak guy. Cloak guy. Where is he? We never really knew who that guy was. The park security got him, along with the police officer. Ah, what a really weird dude. Walking around with some cosplay outfit. 
At least he had some decency to wear something that did not show him, that did not show off some parts of his body. Dude, you're one to talk. Your fucking bulge is showing like 24-7. Like some wolf that roamed around the city with a massive schlong bulging in his pants. Lots of guys in the city were doing it too, you know. It's a nation of freedom, Lo. Free doom. <laughs> Free doom. <laughs> <laughs> that's like an open. That sounds like an open port, an open source, an open source engine, and an advocate of bulges. Hell yeah, damn right. He looked down to his pants, poking the bulge. Huh? It really is big. What the fuck? Oh, he's so absent-minded sometimes. It's so adorable. Huh? That really kind of sticks out. Hmm. Hey, uh, if the author of the if the author of the game or the creator of the game is watching this, this is a kind of an asset that sticks out like really badly. But I don't know if you just maybe want to kind of clean up a little bit of pixel detail right here, kind of make it blend in a little bit better. Yeah, that's uh, that's my only that's my only gripe. Hmm. I don't know. I guess you could argue that because there are lights on this side. Still, look, it looks a little odd. It looks like it's it literally, literally looks like it's like cut out of like a magazine and put on here. Still, though, like this whole area looks nice. It reminds me of the EDF games. After the seemingly long drive, we finally arrive home. Ugh, I'm beat. I beat. I'm dad. <laughs> you seem tired. Are you still able to cook? I can try, though I'm feeling a little drowsy. Don't force yourself if you can't. I will cook if you want some rest. It's fine, really. Ugh. I can do it. Hmm. The wind was cold, moonlight strong, and so is the bang on the car as the wolf slams the door shut. <laughs> hey! Be careful with that. Sorry. I kind of underestimated my own strength. He flexed his arms. Ugh. You never do anything useful with your bulkiness. What do you mean? I do lots of stuff with my muscles. Name one. Oh yeah, well I can... I can... Uh... Punch stuff? <laughs> he just fucking walks off. Yeah, what did you bulk up for anyway? This video is going by so quickly. I don't know. Can I just say that I like lifting weights? I inspected his face. Exactly. Why would you lift weights? Uh, I just like working out. Okay. I say you kind of, I say you kind of like it a little too much. It's a hobby. <laughs> we entered the house, and the two instantly fell on the sofa with a sigh. I did the same and lie down on another sofa. My feet cold from the breeze of the air conditioner. Ugh. I'll take a quick nap, then I'll start cooking. All right. Be careful, though. You might fall asleep. You might fall right asleep. <laughs> I won't. Don't worry. I close my eyes. The world slowly fades, and all I can see is Leo's blurry leg and Philia's voice ringing in a soothing low tone. Don't fall asleep, huh? What's going on at the UN? Hmm. I have an outbreak of horny people. <laughs> oh, no. How will we ever fix this problem? Let's put them all in horny jail. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, then. I look up to a warm touch of sunlight on my face and a thick blanket over me. Ugh. I heard my muzzle. I sat up and stretched my arms. Ugh. I glanced to the side and saw the wolf. He's still sleeping soundly. He slept here? Shouldn't be shouldn't he be in our room? I started I stared at his drooling mouth. <laughs> they both drool. My nose twitches. There was a hint of garlic in the room. Crispy. Salty. Along it was a crackling sound of food being fried. I lazily pulled myself up. Hell yeah, that'd get me the fuck up in the morning. Oh, God, I love the smell of... I love the smell of breakfast and coffee. Man, my eggs are a little bit too salty. Nonsense, I love salty eggs. I should have washed them a little. Hmm? Oh! Good morning, kid. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I couldn't wake up last night. Sorry. Did you guys eat? Mm-hmm. I fried us up some hot dogs and put them in a bun. The lion grinned, in one hand holding a spatula. 
He opened his arms wide. I moved to give him a warm hug. He gently squeezed. You sure like hugs. The same goes for you, he chuckled. I hope you like omelet. I've been I've been trying to copy your style of cooking these, but I can't seem to get it like I to get it like what you do. Hmm. Maybe I need to lower the flame a bit. But it already looks good to me. Don't make them try. Make, don't make them too dry though. It's better when you take them out while the center is still very wet. All right, chef. I'll be sure to do so. <laughs> oh, God, God, that looks good. Hmm. <laughs> Drinking coffee for a change. Yep, hot chocolate with the new creamer you bought is great, but I want to try new stuff. This creamer is just too good. I'll be sure to put that on the grocery list then. Yeah, you should come to my house, man. I've got like fuck tons of different different varieties of coffee. Can you prepare the table for me, please? Sure. Whoa, it looks great. Of course, you're not the only cook in this house. Ooh, that smells great. Good morning. Morning. Sit down, boy. Let's eat. That's me, right? Yes. Been a long time since you called me that. I remember the last time was hmm, when I was 15. Roughly 10 years ago. Good God, you grew a lot. You grew like that. You grew like into three people stacked on top of each other. He plopped on the chair. Man, sleeping on a sofa is so uncomfy. No one really told you to sleep there. In fact, I even asked you to wake Lutus up so both of you could sleep in your room. But you said you didn't want to wake him up. Ah, uh, yeah. This game is so fun. The wolf took a spoonful of the cooked egg, dripping with golden sauce. Mmm. It's been so long since I tasted food this good. Does that mean I'm not good at cooking, then? Hm, I didn't say that. I just haven't tasted Leo's cooking for some time now. I took a bite. Milky, nutty, and bursting with a balance of sweetness and saltiness. I fell in silence, savoring the meal. It really is good. I've never heard you doubt my cooking before. I'd never! The last time Leo cooked for us was a couple of months back, right after I cooked my first dish. Ever since then, he asked me to cook the meals more often. He said my cooking was fantastic. We are leaving at the same time as yesterday. Get yourself prepared, alright? Okay. You coming with, Phil? Hmm? Um... I think I will. You wouldn't get bored? I might, but I'll try to distract myself by playing some games on my phone. 9.22 a.m. I finished bathing and put on a smooth white shirt and a pair of brown shorts. Leo wore his same attire from yesterday, his hair slick with gel, bouncing each time he turns his head. <laughs> Looks sharp. I turned. He placed Fern's black cap on my head. Wear this every time we go out. Okay. Why, though? It looks good on you. I don't even feel like I should. Why? Filio? Uh, yeah. But he seemed to be fine with it yesterday. Yeah. Maybe. Relax. Just wear it, kid. I'll make sure he does not do anything unusual. Filio, let's go! Aye aye, boss! <laughs> yeah, see, the van looks perfect in that scene. So I think the van is cut out of that scene and just put into the night scene. That might be the issue. Hey, Leo. Hmm? What's it like in Germany? It's just like this country, but with a different language. Anything interesting that happened there? Um, nothing. I met Dino there and we became friends. I found this guy in a... I found this guy in a... What? Oh, okay. He's Okay, he's talking about Filio. I found this guy in a box. Then a few years after, we met the little boy, Fern. <laughs> I think he's literally talking about he met some dude living in a box. <laughs> oh, God. That's Lowe's, ways of, that's Lowe's way of saying that, that, that things are interesting. Like how our entire family came to be. Not interesting. <laughs> Leo's had some love interest there, too, if you find that uninteresting. Just interests. I had no intentions of dating any of them. Oh, why didn't you? Lots of them were your type. I just had better things to attend to. Like what? Things. It's your secret boyfriend, isn't it? No, I'm telling you, I did not have one. Mm-hmm, whatever you say, Lo. Are you planning on having one, though? Not sure. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But I do think I have one in mind. What was that? What? 
You have one in mine. The next business trip I have in mind. <laughs> smooth. Real smooth. Alright. Ah, fresh air. I'm gonna go get the trolley. <laughs> it was really weird, don't you think? Oh no, this music. I recognize pretty much all of these tracks. <laughs> what made you say that? It's like public domain music. Well, I don't know. He's not straight. Lots of people like him a lot, but... He doesn't go after any of them. Also, he let you stay in our room without any problems. Normally, people would be fussy about something like that. Do you really think that's weird? That, and he's a virgin. Wow, what a great place to stop it, actually. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was kind of fucking perfect. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Oh, and I will be launching the uh, the memberships soon. Um, the artist that I have to do things, he got kind of caught up in life. Half of them are done. They just ha he just has to uh, do two more badges and then mint them with the date that they were made. So that'll be kind of like our found. Our, that'll be kind of like a little current. The badges are going to be like currency. They're going to be bronze, silver, gold, and then dragon diamond. And each of them is going to have little intricate designs on them. So you guys can. Uh, pay for whatever membership you want you know it'll support me but i'll be launching that in the near future anyway guys i love you all we'll see you in the next video Bye bye